There's a Fortnite emote that Epic thought was too suggestive, so they actually removed it from the game, even though Chun-Li is still a thing. Today, we're going over 20 things that Fortnite was forced to remove from the game. First up, we have Calamity. If you played Fortnite in season six, there's a feature that every single player remembers. It was a battle pass skin and people thought it looked pretty cool. But when players started using emotes with her, especially a certain emote called Jubilation, we discovered that Epic had, I guess you can call it Jiggle physics on the skin some skins since then have had the jiggle physics but not to the degree that we saw with calamity now let's talk about something for the ogs watching the swing set in season two epic added a swing set to retail row and it had physics but the thing is if you start playing with the swing set the game would actually start to get very buggy people were moving around so fast on the swing set that Fortnite's anti-cheat would think that you're speed hacking and actually ban you for playing on the swing set thankfully epic fixed the glitchy mechanics with the swings and unbanned everybody who was involved next up we have the gold mushroom and this is probably one of the rarest most obscure fortnite items it was a huge gold mushroom and it gave you a hundred shield instead of five i tried it out for a video but if you collected the mushroom it turned into a regular mushroom so it was obviously not something that was planned a few days after that video was posted epic actually removed the mushroom from the game speaking of mushrooms buddy the mushroom is another mushroom that was eventually removed he was only in the game for a little bit towards the end of chapter two season two and there was this little guy that if you actually fed him some wood he would follow you around and constantly give you shields it was one of the weirdest most bizarre things i've seen luckily i was on and gaming when he was in the game he was only in the game for like half a day before eventually being removed but we made a cool video about that way back and it got a lot of views all right so this one's for the ogs but fortnite used to have friendly fire so you could actually kill your own teammates whether on purpose or accident and some players were taking advantage of this and just blasting their teammates if they got any good loot so this started getting pretty toxic and epic realized it was going to be an issue so they eventually removed the ability to do damage to your teammates with your weapons but i guess you could still make your teammates fall to their death one way or another Next up, we have the Star Wand Pickaxe. For some reason, this pickaxe started doing 56 damage to players and could actually headshot players for 84. This was in Season X and dropped the same day as the Taco Town update. It was unbelievably broken. I honestly say it's a better melee than the Mythic Sword, and I managed to get a win with it before Epic quickly removed it that same day. If you're an OG player, you might remember that the default dance had three different sound effects. There's currently only two different emotes sounds that play and some of the super ogs might remember that there was a third one this one had more of a country feel and was removed sometime in mid 2018 because epic thought it sounded a bit too much like a george michael song and were worried about potential copyright issues and actually if you're an extreme og i'm talking three fortnite battle royale you might know there was a fourth default song that's right in fortnite save the world alpha there was a default dance with lyrics that played and when i logged into the alpha a build for a video i discovered this oh, i am a soldier that's right i got guns and bullets yeah good to fight Booyah! i don't know why they removed this but if they ever bring it back it would be a fun little throwback to this song <laughs> You might have forgotten about this one, but there was a thing called mass supply drops and Epic secretly removed this without making this a big deal. A lot of people probably forgot there was an NPC in chapter two, season seven. And if you pay them 1,250 gold, it would cause 10 supply drops to fall down and your team could go out there and find all the supply drops and loot them. Epic actually removed the ability to do this and never reintroduced it in any future NPCs. Epic actually removed turbo building at one point in the game back in chapter one season x epic decided people cranking 90s and building super fast was making the game way too sweaty and they're kind of right but their solution was to actually severely nerf turbo build making it 30 times slower to build pieces than it currently is and it was only in the game for a little bit and people were going crazy saying that the game felt like it was lagging after epic received this feedback they quickly undid this change and put turbo building back to where it was but in that same patch they actually also introduced the coin flip mechanic to prevent and make it harder for zero ping players to instantly take walls so low key this patch ended up being a huge w i need some water but it is drying up 
it's not just pickaxes that epic has removed and had problems with this one is the dragacorn glider it's the deadpool glider from season two chapter two they released this glider in the item shop and it was super sick and it's still pretty widely used it was the second glider in the game that you could actually stand on top of and it had this crazy animation where when you pulled out the glider it would start like wrapping around you and your character would pretty much be doing somersaults in the middle of the sky making it extremely hard for people to hit you while you were gliding and players would just spam this glider eventually everyone in the pro scene bought this glider and started using it and that's when epic decided to give everybody a chance to get a refund after they fixed the animation of the glider another cosmetic that is pay to win is actually some irl cosmetics that's right i just launched a new collection for my clothing brand metal umbrella called new beginnings it's a summer collection with a lot of awesome designs we also ship everywhere so a lot of my fans from all over the world who couldn't previously get metal umbrella you guys are now able to order metal umbrella go to metalumbrella.com and check out the new collection if you end up getting anything let me know on twitter or instagram i appreciate it greatly the group baller a mythic ability back in chapter two season four they introduced the group baller mythic you could hop on it and gain maximum hp and kind of move around it was honestly very useful for mobility and healing but players quickly discovered a game breaking glitch where you could actually have a friend hop in a baller and if you jumped on it at the right angle you would teleport massive distances across the fortnite map and once epic saw this issue they ended up removing the item from the game here's an item that epic removed from the game right before it released the golden ticket this was an item that was essentially a buyback for your entire squad you'd find it on the ground and if your team was down you could channel it for six seconds and your entire team would spawn on top of a little mini battle bus and be able to drop in and help you back then this item would have been one of the most powerful items because there were no reboot bans uh but it would still be pretty useful in today's fortnite i wonder if epic ever has plans of adding some sort of golden ticket where you can reboot fallen allies even if you didn't get their reboot card stretch resolution was another feature that epic removed from the game if you start playing fortnite in chapter two or chapter three you probably don't know what i'm talking about but back in the day a lot of the top fortnite players would actually change their in-game resolution to a custom resolution they would actually get increased fov and gain more vision which would help them in box fights and build fights almost everybody started doing this but once the content creators like ninja nick Merckx, and myself started doing stretch res people were complaining about stretch res making the game look ugly and epic kind of agreed so they ended up removing the extra fov you get from stretch res and it no longer gave any of the benefits that it previously gave Next up is the Mythic Goldfish. It was a very rare fish that had a one in a million chance of being caught. And if you got it, it could one-shot players. You threw it at people and did 200 damage. But because it was so rare, barely anybody could find it. However, every season it was in the game, you know, somebody would find it and make a video or post a TikTok or something about the mythic goldfish we have yet to see the mythic goldfish in chapter three so it's safe to assume that epic actually removed it from the game another fish that was kind of rare but not as rare was the midas flopper it had a one in 100 chance of being dropped it healed you like a normal flopper but when you ate it the fish would actually turn into a gold scar and then the rest of your inventory would be upgraded to legendary rarity but now there is no gold scar you can't really catch this fish anymore i guess epic removed it in this season's battle pass chapter 3 season 3 the dragon ruin lance was actually removed and you can't use it because it was making your footsteps completely silent when you had the pickaxe out you wouldn't even show up on the visual audio epic is currently working on a fix for this you can expect the pickaxe to return as soon as they fix it another one for the ogs is the shotgun sniper for some reason back in the day the shotguns didn't have fall off damage so people figured out a few weeks into season one that you could actually just aim at somebody across the map with a shotgun shoot and you could do like up to 100 or more damage from like 100 meters away this was eventually fixed and the shotgun sniper was removed another thing that fortnite had to remove was related to fortnite china epic actually had to remove parts of skins so they could be used in the chinese servers as some of you know in chinese culture it's offensive to depict a skeleton or skull so fortnite had to remove skulls from a lot of their skins like mystique's back bling the skull trooper and a few other examples all right this is an emote that epic had planned but never brought to the game 
it was a belly dance. If you guys remember in the chapter two launch trailer where Jonesy jumps out of the bus, a lot of the Fortnite characters in the background were doing Fortnite emotes. The cowgirl on the left in this video, you can actually see her doing a dance that's not from Fortnite. People didn't notice this until leakers found an emote called the belly dance in the game file, but the emote never ended up getting added to the game. Epic thought this one might have been a little bit too suggestive and decided against it. If this video gets 100,000 likes, I'll make a part two of things that had to be removed from Fortnite. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.